Hi. Today I wanted to go through all my Hoyas. I bought many Hoya cuttings to last few months. And now it's time to go through them and count them and see how everybody is doing. What are fast growers, slow growers or no growers. So I wanted to start with my favorite one. This is Hoya Bella, Hoya Lancelata, that I got as a bunch of cuttings from Lucy the Cat. And now it grew into a huge plant. It's uh, hanging on my kitchen window. And it's always in bloom. It started blooming in uh, June, I think. Yeah, I think in June. And since, since then there's always some flowers on this plant. There's some flowers and it continues to produce pentacles, the pentacles, the, the uh, flower spikes all the time. So I'm not sure when it stops, probably until the winter or the fall, late fall. It will be blooming because I can see some pentacles still forming right there. So this is the plant that blooms and blooms and blooms all the time. I'm really happy to have it. Thank you, Lucy the Cat Beverly, for sending me the cuttings. What I noticed, it needs to be moist all the time. Because if I miss the watering, the leaves kind of start to uh, fold and pentacles might drop. They might yellow and drop. But the moment you water it, it plumps right back and uh, the next pentacles will be, pentacles will be uh, just green and fresh. And one more Hoya on the same window. See that one is hanging and this one is just standing. Is my Hoya Carnosa. That's the uh, first Hoya that I ever got, I bought. Um, and it has one pe peduncle that bloomed, and it bloomed already three times on it. See, peduncle grew. And I think for this season it finished blooming, and now it's, uh, it produced this large vine that will fill up with leaves uh, shortly. Now, it was in a very small clay pot. So this summer, after it finished blooming, I reported it into this, I found this kind of container or cash pot that fits my, it is bigger than clay pot because it's uh, wider and it fits on my narrow window sill. See, it's just perfect. I have it's from Hoya Bella. And uh, so I reported it into this I think it looks like cement or something. The problem is that there is no drainage hole. So it's been sitting here for a couple months and still alive, but I'm very careful with watering. I let it like bone dry. And I think Carnosa is okay with getting bone dry. So maybe I should drill the hole in, in this because I do have the diamond bit to drill the holes in, in ceramic. So I might try. And I have yet another Hoya in the kitchen here on the kitchen table that is here because it got kicked out from tank because I saw sticky residue on the leaves. So I suspect it might have bugs. Although I'm I'm not finding any bugs here. Like scale maybe or millibugs, whoever might leave those sticky traces on the leaves. But just in uh, to be cautious, I put it here for a while. If I won't find any box in the next two weeks, I'll put it back in the tin. And this one is Hoya Hanhiae. Now this one is slow grower. It uh, basically does nothing. I received it as it was set ceiling. I got it from eBay. 
it was standing in a tank doing nothing. Then it gave me a few growths, a few sprouts, and grew maybe three or four leaves, and then stopped again, deactivated all the sprouts again. So, slow grower, definitely. And at this moment, probably no grower. Hoya Hanpiaya. It does have lovely pink flowers, though, so I'll keep it and see how it goes. Now, moving to the window in my orchid tank room. There's something exciting. There are flower buds on my Hoya Kamingiana. Hoya Kamingiana is a pretty slow growing plant and it does not branch. I bought it as a little plant with two branches and they just continue growing, growing, growing and plant does not produce new branches. Sometime during summer I wanted to cut, to make cuttings and put them beside to make plant bushier. But then I noticed that peduncle was forming and I decided to not disturb the plant. Let it be for now, so I kind of set it up on this trellis for support, which is probably wrong for this kind of plant. But if it was just hanging out, probably eventually break it with curtains or something. So for now it's like this. So this is a closer view of peduncle. There are 14 buds, I counted them, <laughs> very exciting. So I can't wait for them to open. Now this is Hoya Australis subspecies Australis, and this one is faster. I got it as a very small seedling with like three leaves, three or four leaves, and all the stuff grew in my care, and it continues to grow, so it is a fast grower. There are several grow points from the same cutting actually and i think this one likes to be dry between waterings this is a more succulent type one the leaves have little fuzz on them and they're pink in the sun this area gets the sun in the morning oh not yet it's coming it's too early yet but then um, you see the pink ones, it's pretty. This is Hoya Australis, fast grower and pretty easy to grow too. This is Hoya YT, I think. I don't have a label. One of these days I need to put labels on my plant. I'll check the name and I'll put it on the screen. So it, it is pretty slow growing. I got it as cutting with without roots. There was no roots. It was a long cutting that I cut in two, and I put them together, and um, it grew some leaves, but not much. Although it's still growing, and I like the leaves. I like this little edge, brown edge on the leaves. I think they're pretty. It's lovely, but probably a long time before. It will look like plant. The last Hoya cutting on this shelf is this one, Hoya Flowers Island or Flores Island. I'm not sure how to read the name. I'll put it on the screen. And um, so it came as these two leaves here, and all this vine and more leaves grew here. So it's pretty fast grower and it's methodical grower. What I noticed. Some Hoyas, they grow long, long vine without leaves and then start to grow leaf here and there. But this one grows a piece of vine, then two leaves. Then another piece of vine, then two leaves. See, there are two leaves at each node and there is no huge vine without any leaves, which I like. So long time from blooming yet and it doesn't mind to be here out of the tank which is good actually in the tank it if you look closer here there is on the right there another node that started to grow but in the tank it rotted off 
that gave me a hint that it didn't like tank so I put it here and it started the vine on the left I have few Hoyas on this shelf that's where my large orchids are who doesn't fit anywhere else and there are few Hoyas two of them are Carnosas they're different than Carnosa in the kitchen so this one has narrow leaves it is a small piece of a plant narrow leaves and this one here has rounder darker leaves than the one in the kitchen but the funny thing is that they all three of them were in the same pot when i bought it that one was like a main plant and these two pieces were put together with it so i saw that they're kind of different and i put them in different pots and they're growing now but um, i think they're all carnosas and the flowers will be probably the same beside yet another carnosa compacta or hindu rope this is a cutting that i received from lucy the cat and it's growing i can see because this this is a new leaf growing it's doing great i know that it's very slow growing but i can see that it is growing so that's a cutting of hoya compacta hindu rope and the last hoya here is hoya abavata which I received as a cutting with just two with two leaves this one and this one here no the other one so this one here and this one here two leaves were there and now it's producing six new leaves it started to grow fast when it started in a small pot but roots filled the pot very fast and I repotted it into a bigger pot and I think it slowed the growth of the leaves. I think maybe it's working on the roots now. But uh, I'm not sure. Or maybe it's um, still adopting to change. Maybe it doesn't like to be disturbed. But it, it, it did grow since I got it. And I can see there are roots there growing. So this is Hoya Abavata, who is moderate growing. Not too fast, not too slow. Now let's go look at the Hoyas in my tank. So we'll start with the top shelf. I have three kind of miniature Hoyas here, which are great growers. This one here is Hoya Hashkeliana, yellow. And I got it as a small cutting with no roots at all. It took no long, like, I don't know, after a few days, I already see, saw it started sprouting the roots and growing. And the leaves are very interesting to me. First of all, it's miniature, so it can live inside of tank. I think and I think it likes it here now I don't have means for it to climb yet I need to think of something because these big ones are like this wooden ones are too large for for this little plant so I need to find some other ways for it to climb but uh, yeah, this one is fast growing and easy growing Hoya Hashkiliana. And it has interesting leaves, I think. Look how they reflect at the bottom. They're very smooth and kind of succulentous. Succulentous uh, on the field, they're hard. Like a little cardboard or something. So I really like it. If you see one, get one. It's fun to grow. And the flowers are different. A Hashkeliana yellow. The next in line is Hoya Serpents. And this one actually came as this little size cutting like this. And I put it flat, hoping that all this node will root. 
and it produced me this little wine this wine that goes all the way around again it was hanging but i put it on the top of the soil hoping that all the nodes will root and produce me some more growth which didn't happen yet but i'm hoping and there is another vine here and look there is and the peduncle which i never know how to say this word but the flower stem there There's peduncle, and there is one more over there, here. And when I discovered those peduncles on Hoya Serpents, I got really excited. Like, oh wow, I will get flowers. But then I went, of course, on Google to read about it, how to keep them from dropping and stuff. And it turns out that this Hoya is renowned for creating lots of peduncles that never bloom so it will probably happen in this case we'll see maybe there will be a miracle and it will bloom for me but in any case this is um, a nice way to have it's very small so i didn't even try to take it out of the thing i decided to to because it obviously likes it here it grows nicely so I will keep it here. Again, I need to find out some ways for it to climb, which I didn't find yet. But again, get it if you uh, if you find it somewhere. That's a nice way. It grows really fast and looks fun. Now let's go to the second side of the second shell, or top shell. And here I have only one Hoya, and it's really finicky. It's called Hoya Thompsonii. Thompsoni. It is a slow grower slash no grower, and it is also leaf dropper. So when I got it as a cutting, it did nothing for like over a month. It was just sitting there. Then, yeah, I think I had those three leaves, three or four. Then it started to grow this vine and that vine. And these two leaves, they survived. But two leaves, it started on the other vine, just dropped for no apparent reason. They grew to this stage, and now it looks like a piggy skin. If they were pink with those white hair, they definitely would look like little pigs. So the, those two leaves, they grew to this stage, then they got yellow and dropped. I don't know why. Now, I put it there in the corner, and I'm trying to not touch it a lot. Like maybe I was touching those leaves. Because they were so fluffy. I don't know. It's a very slow grower. At the bottom, I have lots of Hoyas too. This one here is Hoya ciliata, and it's the fastest growing Hoya. See it? So tall now. There are three, I have three little vines growing all together. There, the leaves are kind of soft with little hair on it. And um, so this is the fastest and easiest to grow. And I think it prefers the thing. I took it out of thing on the windowsill. It did grow there, but not as fast. So, well, since um, it clearly showed that it prefers to be in thing, I decided to keep it here to create the optimal conditions for it, hoping that maybe it'll bloom faster for me but it um, grew just fine outside of thing just maybe not as fast the leaves start all soft and white with hair too see and then they, they grow into to be green now if you are in canada and what want this hoya 
Poya Ciliata. You can go on the web, the store called Cactus and Lime. Cactus and Lime. I think it's a store in Montreal, and they have it for sale. I think it's fifteen dollars for the plant in a three-inch pot, the starter plant, which grows really fast. So. I got this starter plant like a couple months ago and look how, how big it is now. They, they have a few Hoya listed, lots of them sold out, but this one Hoya Ciliata is still available and um, I think they have free shipping if you order more than 50 bucks. So there's some succulents, more Hoyas, Milliflua is still there I think and uh, Multiflora. So go there and get some Hoyas if you want. And besides Ciliata, I have Hoya Erythrostemma, pink, which um, does not do much. It grew me this long uh, vine and I took it out of tank and it tried to grow leaves on these nodes, but then they wilted. I thought maybe she likes humid conditions, so I put it inside tank, and so I'm watching if, like, it seems that it attempts to grow a leaf here. Now, if the leaves will come out successful in tank, I will keep it here. If it will wilt it again, I will remove it from tank, because if it doesn't grow outside of tank and it doesn't go inside of tank then there's no point to waste space in here on something that doesn't appreciate it so we'll see hoya erythrostemma pink now here's another larger one hoya that grows really fast it is hoya caldata and it grows non-methodically it produces long, long vine. See, it goes all the way to the other side, and then it goes back and grows some leaves. Not on each node, like scarce. Sometimes one. Now, well, at this node, it uh, decided to produce me two leaves, which is nice. But the second comes like very late after the first one. So, like, if you see it from far. It is long wine with just two leaves for now. But the vine is growing and eventually probably maybe it will fill up with the leaves and maybe produce the uh, flowers. This is Hoya caudata. Oh, and that's the story of this stupid tank. See, I broke the tip. I was taking it out because I need to take plants out to water, like orchids, and the top has mesh, metal mesh, because it's wrapped out tank. And so this vine cut on the metal and broke. So I'm not sure what's gonna happen. Is it doomed now? I hope that I didn't kill the plant with it. I don't think so. So it should find some other place to start growing. But it didn't yet. It's now producing this leaf, so I'm hoping maybe after this leaf is done, maybe it'll start growing somewhere. Now, beside Hoya Caldata, I have to move some stuff around to get to it. This is Hoya Bordenii, or Bordeni. It is the same story. It grows a long, long vine. See, it goes all the way up, and then it goes back to grow some leaves. And the leaves are very pretty. I like them. I like the shape. They're they're not. They're kind of like long and uh, like a triangle, but it's not very symmetrical. And when it has a lot of light, there is a little pink tinge on the leaves. 
the, the flowers should be pretty but like this one I would even grow just just for the leaves I like the leaves this one is growing pretty fast just same as caudata I think in the tank and it has exactly the same problem as caudata see the tip is broken the tip is broken and dry um yeah I, right now i'm i'm watching i'm really careful but you never know when you break it so i hope it'll start growing from some other node so it's really pretty hoya bordini or bordini and fast growing it was a little cutting and so the three new leaves i think i think it had three like Starting from here down, the, these are old leaves, and starting from here up, three leaves, they're new. It's a nice hoya, I like it. Now there's my corner with pretty leaves, and this large leafed hoya cutting. It's hoya finlay sunnyai. And look, this leaf is larger than my hand, basically. I, like I didn't expect it so big. I was always trying to to pick the smaller hoyas to keep them in a tank, but when this one came, I actually really liked it, and um, it seems like it's growing. See, it produced me this vine. I, I'm waiting for the leaves, but it's growing. So I went back and I bought one more cutting. It should come soon. So I will create a little bushier plant out of it because I really like those huge leaves and they have pattern too. Why I can lay sunny eye. And I on the internet I found um, information about it that it likes it uh, humid and warm. So I I am keeping it in a tank at least for um, a time that I can keep it until it grows so big that it won't fit here. But this is one of my favorites. I, I'm not sure, like, the flowers are probably not very significant, like normal flowers, but the leaves are just, I don't know, awesome. See, they're huge. I know these two with pretty leaves are two types of Hoya calistaphila, calistaphila. One of them is calistaphila calimantan, and another is um, calistaphila long leaf. I really don't remember now which one is which, but it's not important because none of them are doing anything. I mean, they're trying, like that leaf there is growing and this one was produced under my care but see this one doesn't even look nice and there were two cuttings that I bought among the first ones together with serpents and so you saw how much serpents grew and this was basically just sitting there doing nothing for a couple months and uh, well I'm, I'm not impressed with the growth of these two cuttings. Now, I know that Mary G. bought the plant of Calistaphila, Calimanta, and I'm wondering if it will be better when you start with the plant, not with the cutting. Maybe it takes a long time to establish and start to grow, but once it's started, maybe it'll be faster. So I'm curious. Mary, when you do update, I'd like to know. But these two cuttings are just, I don't know. They, they don't make me happy comparing to the other ones. But I'm keeping them because, well, they're not dead. So I'm giving them a chance to improve. And here's the last one, Hoya inside of tank. There's a label for a change. It's called Hoya Kao Soi Dao. 
for I I think it was reclassified to be Hoya Soidanensis. Now this one is a no grower too. It was actually two cuttings. It was long cutting and I cut it in two pieces. Just I thought it will make plant bush here. And the second cutting actually did root and started to grow. Both of the cuttings gave me a sprout. But then at some point the second cutting just got yellow and died. And now this one, see, there's a yellow leaf. Now I don't know why. Probably doesn't like to be here. So this one might might actually uh, be a, a casualty too. I had one casualty. It was Hoya and Dowensis, something like that, which just the cutting got yellow and wilted and died. And this one, the, the half of it did the same. So I, I'm not sure. Maybe it'll survive and grow, maybe it will not. That's a question. So those are all the Hoyas that live in my tank. I like them. They all have different uh, leaves, different grow habit, different uh, flowers when they bloom. And it's true, they take space in a tank, but if you arrange them on the trellises, they take vertical space and not much horizontal space. But they do bring some greenery to a tank, so it looks a bit like a jungle. I like it. So tell me which one do you like the best from my collection? Thank you for watching and have a nice day.